Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. I have a fun little wreath project for us. Uh, I've been wanting to use this uh, buffalo check kind of uh, ribbon. It's uh, like a flannel kind of feel to it. So it's nice and soft. Um, but I've got some of the, the red tubing from last fall from the Dollar Tree. Had one of those left over. I've got some silver tool from the Dollar Tree. I've got these fun little ribbons. So a gingham check. I've got some little farm animals on this one. I've got a glitter, polka dot, and then just plain black. I've got some uh, silver mesh. I'm going to put it on a round form. And then we've got a couple of these. And of course, I've got some silver pipe cleaners. And then a couple a couple different cutting things, so a wire cutter. Uh, I use these same scissors to cut all my wire and uh, pipe cleaners. So I, I try not to use my good scissors for cutting st tough stuff like that. So what I did is I went ahead and attached uh, a pipe cleaner to my frame. And I uh, went around... Uh, a couple different ways so that it won't slide on me and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually come up underneath and we're just going to wire tie it into place so we're going to do a new method new to me method and uh, it's called the push through method so basically, you just push the ribbon through, and uh, I saw a couple different ways. Most people just use their hand so that you, you have something handy, and that's how big of a loop you make. And uh, some did 9, some did 12. Uh, my ribbon is a little bit more narrow than the 9, but we'll see once we get a few in place. So basically, just... I'm just going to keep measuring until my eye gets accustomed to judging that loop. Basically, you just keep pushing it through. It should be super fast. Well, once I figure out what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> but it looked like a really fun wreath with those little animal print ribbon that I found. I thought this would be ideal. So once you get to the top, then you're going to come all the way back to the first ring again. And the key is to try to keep it the right side out. And then again. And we may only do nine, and I'll tell you because I want to add those other elements to the wreath. So you just keep, try to keep them uniform. And keep your ribbon going the correct way. So keep it twisted the right way. And we'll spread all this out once we get them all in there. Come back to the front, to the inner ring again.
just set. Spread these over, spread these over. We're going to fluff them all anyways. One thing I kept hearing people say is make sure you're pulling it all um, at the same, like you don't have your ribbon in there uh, one side longer than the other, like it's not crooked. Try to keep it the, the loop straight. So just sort of let it stay in its little bundle, but make sure that it's all facing out. Get my three fingers in there and then wire tie it or pipe cleaner it on. Some people used uh, wire ties. But I had a feeling I was going to want to use the pipe cleaners in more than one way, which means attaching the base and then putting the decorations on with it as well. All right, here we are. The last one. Get my pipe cleaner attached. And we'll cut our ribbon. Should be using these other scissors. All right, I have enough to do another project. Unless I end up making a bow for this, so we'll have to see. All right, so now just sort of get them all spread out a little bit and just start at one section and literally take all the little curled up parts and pull them all out. All right, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? All right, so then we have all of this. So we have one polka dot, one gingham check, three of the animals, and three solid black. And then we have a black with glitter on it. So now we have to decide which ones we want. And we have this. So what I want to do, oh, and then I have this from my stash also, which is just a fancy frou-frou kind of ribbon, which is an edge so we have that also all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these to create a template for how long I need to cut my ribbon so if I can cut this one well, let's see so if I'm going to put it in the pipe cleaner and I want it to come up 
12 out where my loops are and I gotta give a little bit of room for it to twist down there not that much room so what I'm doing is I'm just using this pipe cleaner come up with how long do I need so I need them to be like six inches so we're going to cut one set and then we'll see where that takes us well that's something different I don't remember any of my other mesh from Dollar Tree having this sticky little tape right there on the end scrunch this up behind it let's see what we can do right in the middle of the pipe cleaner Then we have something that looks like that. And once we put them all on there, I think we'll do go with that. All right. So I'll get all this cut and then come back to you. All right. As I was uh, trimming the tails on the ribbons, I got to thinking, oh, this is going to need a little bit of color. And so I decided to play off of this ribbon to let it be an inspiration. Let's see. So there's the ribbon. That's the inspiration. So what I did is I went to my Cricut and uh, I created a little centerpiece that will mount to a piece of chipboard but it looks something like this and I did a I did a few cuts because I wasn't you know I was playing around with the idea trying to see uh, if I wanted to use it and how I wanted to use it and my size and all that sort of stuff so it'll sit something like that which I think will be super cute um, I did a one in white one in black and then one in red which I think is the one we'll use along with some of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my wreath off to the side and we're going to go ahead and weed this
I decided to glue this to a white background. We'll do that so it can be dry while we're cutting our ribbon. Again, this will go on a, a covered area, won't be exposed to the elements. There's our first piece of the sign. That's pretty sturdy. So I decided just to fussy cut this. And so I swapped out my regular scissors for some with a nice fine point. It's still drying. It's not dry all the way. I'm trying to be ginger with the edges. Be very gentle. Right, I've got our ribbons put on everything except this last section. So I wanted to do that with you together. So basically I have three of each little section cut. And so what I've been doing is putting down the check, then the solid, then the glitter, then the dots, then the shiny silver, and then our feature ribbon. I let those stand up because they're they're shiny so there is our base all complete so the next thing we want to do is to get this thing open and I think we're just going to spiral it around see how much we have so I'm going to put this which has uh, Mod Podge instead of glitter, I put an outdoor Mod Podge on it to help it be a little more um, outdoor friendly. 
And then what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put a big bow on it. So once I get this on there, then I'm going to look and I'm going to use, you know, this and then some more of this. I got a little bit of this glitter left. So we'll, we'll play around with this ribbons that we have, but we will use that red. I think we're ready to finish up our cute little wreath here. I've got the little red tubing put on there just for pops of color. I've started a bow um, that I'll finish up with you. I've got my sign. It's pretty sturdy. It's dry. We'll probably put it off to the side like that and then I want to put a big bow on the other side. So basically I'm using my little bow maker and super simple. Um, I cut out my links. I sort of put from uh, the end of the ribbon, looped it through, saw how much I really wanted, and then I cut all of them, dovetailed all of them, and then just started feeding them. And it's super simple. All you do is lay it in here, and you want this loop to be faced face up also so you have to get a little twist right there twist and push down something like that i did tie little ends on my little tubing because it looked like it would fray if i didn't so yep have one last one of those and kind of crisscross them, push it down again, and then we have one more of these. And again, these aren't wired ribbon, that'd be ideal, but I just like this little ribbon. And you notice the end here, I'm going to make sure my end goes on the other side over here. Bring it around. Give it a little twist. And then what I did before I started anything is I put a piece of pipe cleaner down at the very bottom. So I'm gonna pull it here, pull it here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to secure all of this with this pipe cleaner.
Again, I'm just pinching it down, giving it a few good twists. And that just finished off the center of our bow. And this will relax once it gets out into the outside and it's not around its spool. It's pretty tight, even just pulling off some super curly, but it'll it'll relax. Okay, so now to attach this to the back. Pretty elaborate bow, but it's all right. And again, next time I'll try to be sure I have wired ribbon. And so I'm going to anchor this a couple different ways. It will set something like that. So now we've got to decide where we want to put that bow for sure. Pretty elaborate bow. So let's get our table cleaned off so we have some room to work. And we want something like that. Or do we want it on the side? profile just a little smaller. And it's all the ribbons other than this wide red ribbon. These are all the ribbons we used in the wreath. So this sort of will help it pulled all together. I'm gonna get all the shiny outward. that this ribbon wrinkles quite easily so I'm doing all of this back behind all the other pieces. So we like that will be on a dark door so that might really pop on a dark door. And then we'll attach pipe cleaner for a hanger right there. So let's do that. Let's put it here. I'm going to trim this off a little bit. Should have taken a lighter to it, but just chose to go with a simple little knot. Once we get it on the door, we'll fluff it and all that that we normally do. All right. So we've got this glitter, we've got some silver. Let's go ahead and attach this. I'm going to go ahead and leave these together. Just make my part that I attach a little bit stronger. So I'm just leaving them together. And I was going to do something like that, but I made the sign large enough.
and I'll be able to move it. So if I did it right here, I did it kind of sideways. Well, let's just leave it there. We can fluff it when we get it to the door anyways. So I'll flip it all upside down. And I'll find my light cleaner. And if we can see it, when we flip it over, I'll just weave it in between our little poofs. We'll go in between here. Just give it several twists. And again, this will be in a in a covered area. It'll be outside, but it'll be in a covered area. Push all that forward. Wow. So then what we'll do is we'll have to adjust this when we get out there since we're fiddling with it. We get all of our ribbons facing forward. Alright, next thing I'll do is I'm just going to glue a pipe cleaner back here. And you can even go with a, a half. I think we'll only need one. And then just let it sort of hang free. So we're just going to do one right in the middle. Actually, we'll do a whole one because then I don't have to worry about it being too short. All right, I'll get this glued on. We'll let it set and dry, and then uh, I'll take it outside and uh, I'll let you see see it on the door. How about that? Pretty neat. Well, there's our completed farm wreath. I like how it came out. Couldn't find the exact sign I wanted, so we made her own. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, would you please consider subscribing? It really does help my channel to grow. Dovetail those big ends down there. And there it is. Pleased with how it came out. Well, until next time, happy crafting.